This video will show you my interpretation of the Ansel Adams zone system. You can see on the screen we've got zone 0 through 10, so basically 11 zones. The digital values based on 256 shades of gray. So we have our zone 0 which is basically our darks and then zone 10 is basically our whites, pure white. So what I've done is created an action in Photoshop that'll take those values and convert them into a channel. And what I've done is I've gone into select and color range and grabbed the values for, let's say in this case we selected highlights and we said well we want basically anything in 166 and above. Get rid of the fuzziness. Just my personal take on it if you wanted to you know have a little flow into the previous one you can adjust your fuzziness value and you'll see the slider goes up. I prefer to go to zero and then we can adjust it later on. Okay so that's what the script does. So we'll just run or an action. Run the little Photoshop action. It's going to go through here. If we look at our channels, and all the zones in, and it's done. So now you have all those channels there that you can add as masks to any other adjustment. For me, I found that most people are using curves adjustments for this, so I decided I'd make a Photoshop action for that. Basically what it's going to do is run through all your channels, select the channel, and then it's going to basically turn it into an adjustment layer. So you can see here, basically we've selected zone 1 because it's grabbing the zone 1 section and 0. Okay. But that would take a lot of time, so I went ahead and gave you guys, oops, make sure we drop it to the delete option here, not the new copy, there we go. I've gone ahead and made that action. So once you've run through the channels one, you can run through the curves, and you can see here it's adding all the zones in. It'll fill in the thumbnails, thumbnails are filled in. At this point, you can stop it if you want. Um, what I've found is basically sometimes the masks are a little too crisp and you get too much detail. So if we just want to feather the masks, we can click continue. It'll go through and give them about a 10 pixel feathering, which you can adjust later on because it's non-destructive as a, it's a curves adjustment. And then just for my own personal preference I've gone and grouped them together so I hit continue and it'll group them based on darks, midtones, and lights. Now that we've got them grouped together I'm just going to show you what you can do. If we go into our lights option here and if we go down to zone 10 I'm just going to alt and click on that mask. You can see zone 10 we've only got that little tiny selection there whereas if we go up to midtone here and zone 4 there's zone 4 zone 7 zone 7 is a bigger area zone 3 another area of darks in this case this would be all the blacks right so you see there's our gradient panel if we just shift click that nope if we control click it, there we go, now it gives us our nice little box around it and because we feathered it, it's gone and blurred it out. So I'll just show you if we get rid of the feathering and go back to our control click here, there. It's grabbing everything in a more straighter, boxier effect. And we'll just, we can just bump it up. And now our selection is basically more oval, rounded sh shape, whatever you want to call it. Just get rid of that selection. 
All right, so we're in zone three. You can see when we click on the little curves adjustment, then you just do your standard curves adjustments if you want. Increase contrast. Notice that before it was pale. Now it's darkening everything if we drag it down even lower. And basically make that whole selection black. Okay. Midtones, same thing. If we want feathering, no feathering. And we just grab it, drop it down. You can see that zone 5 is now almost completely black. Or, go the opposite way, zone 5 is completely white. So this is just a quick run through. I'll have more tutorials on, or and some before and afters for you guys later on. Thanks for watching.